Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, ready for another project on the Ford Lightning. This time I'm wanting to add uh, an external fuse block um, to add additional circuits on the truck. So our 12 volt battery is back there. You can see the thing's already been off-road significantly um, or a significant amount of time, pretty dusty. I really prefer to not have extra cables coming off the battery. So um, we're gonna add this to our fuse block fuse distribution center, power distribution center, which is hidden behind uh, one of these access panels. You just turn the little clips to the side and then pop it off. Uh, once you've got it off, it looks like this. So on this side, you've got uh, your jump start. We're gonna jump start another vehicle. You wouldn't jump start this vehicle because the small 12 volt battery is constantly getting charged from the, the big high voltage battery, but this would be to jump start another vehicle. So you've got your positive post there, and then here's the negative um, binding post for jumper cables to, to connect. So anyway, here's the um, power distribution blocks I was talking about. You can see in there. And then on this side, there are some open uh, slots that, that we'll connect to up here on this uh, bus bar. What I'm looking at is installing it right here on this cross member um, because there's a height difference between here and up here and just kind of the way it lays out i wanted to have it so the power the positive side goes towards that distribution block the negative um, binding post there is going to be off to this side where I'll, I'll screw it into the frame and then to get the height right i added a bunch of washers um, pre-drilled a hole here in this cross member you can see if you look down through the washers um, just kind of added washers until I got it to, to the right height. So now setting this on here, it sits uh, nice and level. And then I'll probably uh, attach there and then attach one along the, along the front. All right, guys, so we're back installing our fuse block. Got it mounted down. Now next up comes powering it. Where do you grab the power from? This is the fuse block under the hood. That's why I mounted it so close. Uh, with the positive terminal right there near the fuse block. Um, I didn't want something that was permanently powered, you know, constant 12 volt, like you can see that pin right there. There's a bunch of those, there's one back there that are uh, constantly powered, but I wanted something that was ignition switched. So what I did to figure this out is came into the owner's manual of the truck and you go under the fuses and here you can see a diagram of what's under the hood. And then you can go through a list. And what you'll notice is not use spare. Number 21, a 10 amp. Let's see what else we got. Right there, number 33, a 20 amp. And we come down, there's one more, number 190, a 5 amp. So I really want you know, that 20 amp, um, that second one in the list rather than this 10 amp right here. But now I need to see which of these is ignition switched or are they both ignition switched or neither of them ignition switched. So I got number 33 as a possibility and I've got number 21. And if I look up here, I can see number 21 is right there. And number 33 is uh, right there. So let's go take a look. Throw on the multimeter, set it to DC. Okay, so the 10 amp spare is this guy right here. And uh, right now, obviously, I have the ignition on, and I've got 13 and a half volts. So this one is live with the ignition on. And then the, uh, the 20 amp is that guy right there. I'm gonna pull him out. And let's just check that one. Live with ignition on. So I'd prefer to use that one. Now let's go see if I shut the ignition off, what's live for the accessory mode. Okay, truck powered down. Back over here, what do we have? So right here, the 20 amp that I prefer to use, still live, 12.7 volts. 
no go. How about our 10 amp back here? Nothing. So that one is ignition switched. So unfortunately, I'm only gonna be able to pull from that 10 amp um, rather than that 20, but that's okay. The five amp spare is back here. And let's just check it for, for fun. It appears that it is also ignition switched. So it is dead right now. I just wanna make sure, yep, yep, so it's dead. But this one, the 20 amp is constant. Like I've mentioned, these lugs that are in here, like right here, this lug, constant. This lug back here is constant. And then there was a, a third one. It's, it's right there. And I'll show you. You can see constant. So really got one option. That 10 amp right at the back of the group is my one switched that I can use to power up my additional fuse block. All right, so we're just going to be wrapping up. Uh, I want to show you how we finish things up on the adding the fuse block here. Uh, as you can see, I ordered a pack of these uh, circuit splitters. And so you can see where it's plugged into that uh, spot we'd identified earlier. This original 10 amp is down there, and then the new circuits uh, 20 amp is up, up top. Um, running the wire along here now one of the tricky pieces is you got to get out of this distribution block how do you do that so what i've done here is just notched out a little spot with a drill bit um, and then done the same on the cover as you can see right there not the cleanest i'll get that cleaned up um, but just want to show you guys for demonstration purposes so now that cover will close and keep the dust and debris out of the distribution block you can see there where it, where it escapes just real close um, comes on over to the new fuse block had to add a ground so on this side here's a bank for uh, grounding your circuits the negative post and just ran that up to where the factory uh, there's a factory bunch of um, wires that are grounded right here against the frame so added it to there the only thing that's left to clean this up is uh, use the heat gun and and uh, clean that, shrink that waterproof connector down a little bit with the heat gun. There's just starting to go. There it is. All right. That waterproof connector got that plugged into the sweet frunk outlets there. This sucker pulls about 2,000 watts, so very impressive that uh, the truck can handle that no problem. And then, lastly, let's just uh, test it out multimeter on and set to DC. I've been using this uh, grounding lug right here to my negative connection, and we'll bring it over here and see do we have power? Yes, we do. And right here to uh, just put a 10 amp fuse in there to test things out. And yes, we do. So uh, this, the additional fuse block is complete now. You know, it is limited by only 20 amps because of that. Uh, the largest fuse in that mini size is a 20 amp. And so um, even though, you know, I could add larger fuses here, I'm still limited by that 20 amp fuse um, on the add a circuit. So keep that in mind. But nowadays with LEDs and and whatnot um 20 amp should be plenty for what i'm doing and i'll have another project coming up soon where we'll be utilizing this fuse block so stay tuned for that